Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to go over uh, my learning about Bitcoin and what I think about not just Bitcoin but other cryptocurrencies and um, so on and so forth. So I started uh, looking at um, Bitcoin about a week ago, um, trying to get a little more... Um, getting a better handle on it and um, I post started posting articles on uh, some of the conversations I've had with other people online and if you go to my blog you should be able to see up the see these articles that I posted and um, some of them were pretty interesting about Bitcoin uh, can you do Bitcoin with uh, Python and here's what I gathered there's Coinbase, which is one of the standard places to go to do transfers of Bitcoin. And then over about a week ago, I created, well, I have my chat group here, uh, which I said that the chat group on Telegram is now by invite only. So um, really, if you want to know more about it, um, you just come under contact here. Uh, where is it? Uh, sorry, support, and it's the first thing you'll see under that page. And basically, we had it open for people, uh, but we started having people spam the group uh, with their stupid chat rooms. So we started losing a few good people. So as a result, we um, are just keeping it by invite only, and I'm going to be vetting people to ensure um, that they are you know, a good fit for the group and add good discussion to the group. Uh, and as a result, uh, I got to know you by uh, my email list or by my social media, by YouTube comments or Facebook or whatnot. So I got to know you first before I can submit you. So that's why that <clears throat> has happened. So as this group got a little more um, serious about Bitcoin, I put together a running list of uh, a variety of cryptocurrency networks, who are the best, um, who are the safest, and what's built for, um, for um, the best ways to go about you know, moving forward with Bitcoin because it's not obviously regulated and that's the, the reason of it. And then that has now expanded into other... Uh, other um, cryptocurrencies and, and there's been a lot of discussion as you can see that by the sides of this this um, this uh, posting but I'm just gonna go through it and these are the resources that I've, I've given out but these are the one, top ones that I found of, of the exchanges uh, for transferring uh, Bitcoin into an exchange like Kraken a Bitstamp a Coinbase, and then I started doing a um, a uh, a comparison between Kraken and Coinbase. Uh, so there's this article. Uh, there's uh, again Coinbase versus Kraken. Um, but there, these were some of the um, comments made within the group, and I think some of them are really good. So let's talk about the first one. There's this thing called uh, Tresner, and basically what it is, as far as I remember here is uh, it's a Bitcoin wallet and it enables you to store your uh, Bitcoins uh, physically in this like USB device and it keeps it secure and da 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 so um, that's one of the ways to go about doing it and once you do that it seems <coughs> That some of the uh, uh, users or, or people in this group and other people on Facebook um, are sort of lean towards uh, Coinbase because it's easy to work with. Uh, reliable is another reliability is another problem because it could take a couple of weeks before you see the um, the transfer, which is to me not a good thing. So that's the first thing. Um, so as far as I know with Coinbase, now I'm only basing this on what I've been told, is buy and sell digital currency. Uh, you can uh, 
connect your bank account, debit card, or credit card so you can exchange digital, digital currency in and out of your local currency and then buy all the major ones, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so forth. Um, and then you have your uh, mobile wallet, which I believe if I look up uh, um, the uh, Tresnor, or sorry, Trezor and uh, uh, Coin, is it uh, Coin? Oh my, Coinbase, I believe. Yeah, Coinbase. So there may be ways to go about transferring uh, bitcoins uh, from your Coinbase to Tresnor to keep it safe on the Tresnor device. Uh, so, but you do have a, a link from the uh, Bitcoin uh, from your bank, as far as I remember. And this link or this posting has some more detail. Now, the next part is which um, which exchange is best for the automated trading. So, <clears throat> what it, and, and, and also there's uh, one on Gemini as well. There's some comments there on Gemini, which other people seem to like. Which is fine, I guess. Um, and and the other ones was which ones are good for uh, for API uh, access to you know to build trading on. And the funny thing is, is that with Bitcoin or I should say Bit cryptocurrencies, um, they're no different than the the uh, forex where you have currency pairs, but you're going to have different. Um, cryptocurrency pairs that you that will behave the same way as Forex uh, so there's that to keep in mind and there are ways to connect your coinbase to whatever um, uh, whatever network or exchange you want to be part of based upon the API um, so there's one called bitternex uh, let me see if I could find that for you uh, I believe it's uh, uh, just give me a second here it's called bit Nix or something like that. Um, man I don't remember uh, let me just uh, do a search on my so So we have here bet stamps, another one. Um, this one uh, is questionable. Minimal interface, uh, cryptocurrency, and bit stamp. So there's all these different resources to go from. So let me just see here. There was a mention of bit thing. Bit finance, finex, or see, there's GDAX. Uh, this is a, a really good uh, comment. Um, dodgy stories coming out of Bitfinex. So you don't know who uh, to trust. Oh, here we go. Bitrex is the one we want. So let me just uh, do a look up for that this was the one that was recommended and when I look at the uh, site I do see uh, some interesting things um, so here are some of the pairs that you can trade all the major um, uh, cryptocurrencies Litecoin uh, this one I don't know Ubik Dash, Ethereum, again, but I don't know, Gridcoin, Blackcoin, uh, Litecoin. So there's a bunch of them. Uh, so you can trade them like, um, like I said, like a currency pair. Now, as far as I know of the API, let's just see here. Okay, so we just, let me just see what I can find on the API. See, I'm not sure 
which is oh, that's not the one. You have to be really careful on who you uh, go with in terms of Bitternix, uh, API. Oh yeah, Bit Bittrex. See, this is so confusing. There's so many of these things. So Bittrex 24. Um, but the, really, a lot of them are just HTML and REST protocol. And then there's a lot of languages you can write in either C++, Python, Java, even .NET, where you will interface with those protocols and then build up your own tools to interface with the uh, with with this particular exchange. Let's see what we got here. Um, so th that's something we have to deal with uh, to be able to get around that. So do keep that in mind. Um, so that was a comedy. <laughs> The combination that was recommended was this Bitrex and uh, the other one, Coinbase, to fund the to fund your Bitcoin. Still prefer Coinbase because it's backed by some rather important people, and most of the API is either RESTful or HTTP, which are language agnostic. Um, so this person's uh, doing market making with C++ and interfacing with uh, using the REST, uh, RESTful and HTTP. And uh, as I said, there's some articles here on how to transfer to your Trezor cold storage. Um, so again, we have some um, other exchanges. Um, so it does get kind of confusing. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the ones that I'm recommending here, Coinbase to fund and then Bittrex to interface with your potential API. And apparently there is uh, Python wrappers for that sit on top of the um, protocol uh, that they've developed for their exchange. So all in all, it is very confusing. Uh, hopefully I've given you some recommendations here. And rationales behind it. Uh, as far as I know, I can tell a lot of people are doing very well. It's fairly easy trading for profit um, because there's a lot of unsophisticated participants in the cryptocurrency world and uh, they're just screwing up and the guys, uh, people that know how to do it are the ones profiting pretty well easily. And I'm, I'm seeing some big returns from a variety of people. So I will be looking at that um, down the line as my next big asset class to trade. So I just want to go through that with you just to see what you think of this kind of um, uh, uh, article or posting that I put up. Most trusted cryptocurrency exchanges, you know, and as I said, Coinbase and this Bitrex for the reasons, uh, as I said in this video. Hopefully this will help you out. Let me know what you think. Later.